Hi everyone, this is your educator Bhavna Agarwal and you are watching Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. In this video, I have brought a very, very interesting topic for you and uh, we'll be learning how to convert the various scales of temperature. So first of all, I would ask, I would like to ask you like, can you tell me what are the various units in which we can measure temperature? If you know the units, before going ahead with the video, please type your answers in the chat box and I, I'll assure you that I will respond to your answers uh, if they are correct. Yeah. So there are, now you can continue with your video after this if you have posted your answers there. So there are basically three scales that we use for measuring temperature and the three units or the three scales are, the first one, the most commonly used is the degree Celsius. The second one is degrees Fahrenheit and the third one is the Kelvin scale. So out of these three scales, which is the SI unit of temperature? Can you guess so? Yes, it is the Kelvin scale. So the SI unit of temperature is Kelvin. Although we most commonly use degree Celsius as the scale for measuring temperature. Now, let us learn how to convert these scales from one form to another. That, is, that means like if you are given a temperature in degree Celsius, can you convert it to Fahrenheit or can you convert it to Kelvin and vice versa. So, let's begin with the relation on the screen. So, this is the formula that we use for converting Celsius to Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit to Kelvin or directly Celsius to Kelvin or vice versa. So, using this formula, you can convert any of the scales into any of the other scales. Let us take one example here to understand it in a better way. Suppose we have a temperature of say 25 degrees Celsius and you are supposed to convert this to degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll be using this formula. What does the formula say? It says temperature on the Celsius scale upon 100 is equal to temperature on the Fahrenheit scale minus 32 upon 180. Substitute the values in this formula. So what do we get? It becomes 25 upon 100 is equal to degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 upon 180. So this is what we need to simplify. I am continuing over here this side. This cancels out and we get 1 by 4 here. So this becomes degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 1 by 4 was already there. We multiply it by 180 and this minus 32 becomes plus 32 over here. Let me do this a bit more neatly. Right. So this again cancels out. What do you get? 4 4 is 16 and 4, 5 is 20. So this becomes 45 plus 32. So this becomes 77 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is how you convert degree Celsius to Fahrenheit. Now let us convert this temperature in Fahrenheit to Kelvin. So we'll be converting 77 degrees Fahrenheit to Kelvin. So this marks the boundary. How do we go ahead with this? Now we'll be equating these two formulae here. That means degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 upon 180 is equal to Kelvin minus 273 upon 100. So instead of degrees Fahrenheit, we'll be writing 77 degrees Fahrenheit, which we calculated just now. So this becomes 77 minus 32 upon 180 which gives you Kelvin minus 273 upon 100. So this zero cancels out. What is What are we left with? We are left with 45 upon 18. This 10 goes in the numerator. This becomes 450 plus 273. Simplify this. So when you cancel this out, you get 25 here. So 25 plus 273 gives you 298 Kelvin. So that means a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius is equal to 77 degrees Fahrenheit and 298 Kelvin. 
so on the celsius scale the temperature which is 25 degrees celsius is equal to 77 degrees fahrenheit or 298 kelvin and the easiest thing is to convert celsius to kelvin how do we do that no need of this formula simply add 273 to it so suppose 25 degree celsius is equal to how many kelvin what do we do it becomes 25 plus 273 and that gives you 298 kelvin and you can verify your answers from here isn't that simple so what are you supposed to remember you are just supposed to remember this relation that helps you convert celsius to fahrenheit to kelvin that means you can convert any of the degrees into any other degrees using this relation so i hope you found this video interesting and useful as well and uh, if yes if your answer is yes don't forget to hit the like button and also share this with your friends so that they too can learn this amazing concept of science and yes do share to our, uh, do subscribe to our channel if not yet, uh, done the, yet and also hit the bell icon so that you can get notifications for more such upcoming informative videos thanks for joining me and stay tuned